Google Assistant, Siri and Alexa are all virtual assistants you're likely to be familiar with. But missing from that list is Microsoft's offering, simply because Cortana never really took off and has since been removed globally in one of the company's recent software updates. But it seems Microsoft aren't quite finished in that department just yet, as the tech giant has announced the $20 billion acquisition of artificial intelligence firm Nuance Communications. But what exactly will Nuance bring? to Microsoft's brand, and what does this takeover say about the company's future vision? Here's how it happened. Nuance itself was founded nearly 30 years ago, back in 1992 as Visioneer, a company focused on the hardware and software for scanning physical documents. Scansoft was then acquired in 1999, a division of Xerox that wrote software to read text written in any font. Before the purchases of Learnout and Housebee and Dragon Systems in 2001 saw the firm's efforts shift to speech recognition rather than text, and a merger with the Stanford Research Institute's transcription spin-off Nuance Communications in 2005 led to the adoption of the name we know today. But why has the company since been valued in the billions of dollars, and what makes its ownership so lucrative? Well, after generating $24 million in venture capital, Nuance continued to pick up nearly every player in the voice recognition game, including Dictaphone Corporation, Escription, and Be Vocal, with the value of these three companies alone nearing $1 billion. The first mainstream use of Nuance's technology came in the launch of their iPhone app in February 2010, called Siri. The app gave users the ability to ask their phone verbally for things like the weather forecast, auto movie times at their local theatre. Siri was free to download and made revenue through affiliate fees whenever a reservation or purchase was made. The app didn't take long to turn heads, and was acquired by Apple in April of that year for an undisclosed fee believed to be in excess of $100 million. The technology was consequently integrated into the iPhone 4S, released in October 2011, when iPhone users could hold the home button at any time to be greeted by their new virtual assistant. The feature was praised upon launch, albeit with a few caveats, like its slightly weaker compatibility with third-party apps and total reliance on an internet connection. In spite of the obvious link, it was a while before the use of Nuance's technology was confirmed as the foundation of Siri's transcription. As Nuance CEO Paul Ritchie announced two years later, we are the fundamental provider of voice recognition for Apple. And while Apple was continuing to ramp up its virtual assistant, the company's biggest rivals were following suit. Amazon Alexa has become a household name over the past few years, with the additional need for an Echo smart speaker or Fire TV to get the most out of the AI not deterring potential customers. With the help of Amazon's other assets like Ring and a whole host of devices that can be synchronised with Alexa, voice control now extends to your lighting, heating and even your doorbell. And then there's Google. Google, whose OK Google ads might have driven you crazy recently, but the tech giant's virtual assistant has still been wildly successful. Since it was first rolled out in 2016, Google Assistant has found its way onto Pixel smartphones, Android devices, and even as a standalone app on iOS. Overall, Google's AI is available on more than 1 billion devices, making it the most prevalent of any virtual assistant out there. But for the most part, in spite of being the world's biggest software company by quite Quite some way, Microsoft's Cortana has struggled to make any lasting impact. After its initial rollout in 2014, Cortana failed to find its home within the Microsoft ecosystem, not helped by the demise of Windows Phone and the complete cancellation of the Courier tablet, which you can learn more about in our dedicated video. Despite regular updates, Hey Cortana never really caught on, and was removed from iOS and Android app stores in March 2021. But it was only a few weeks later that Microsoft announced the full acquisition of Nuance itself, agreeing to a cash transaction of $19.7 billion. Although the deal might sound like the perfect launch pad on which to build a revamped Cortana, early media reports actually suggest that Nuance's resources could be deployed in the healthcare industry. The belief is that Nuance's cloud-based intelligence will be used to manage online health records, aid with diagnoses, and stream 
streamline much of the medical bureaucracy, the acquisition is the second largest in Microsoft's history, falling short of the $26 billion paid for LinkedIn in 2016. The purchase has seemingly been a huge success, as the networking services user base has nearly doubled to $750 million since the takeover was announced. This bodes well for Nuance, as we could see its AI later integrated into the LinkedIn platform and cement the website's status as the home of business interactions. With rumours continuing to link Microsoft with other buyouts for firms like Discord and TikTok, this is unlikely to be the last we'll hear of multi-billion dollar acquisitions. But let's see how the future of Nuance turns out before casting any judgments. And that's how it happened. Thanks for watching.